So, time for a new set. Um, basically, a cubicle farm. That's the challenge for today. Build a cubicle farm, fill it with generic characters, ready for the uh, introduction to the main scene, because it gets off to a start and then stutters and goes back. So. Start by giving it a sky, which we'll give to our blank scene so that we don't have to do that again. Then build some walls and set materials for the walls and the ceiling. Pluck out holes for the windows. Raise it up to like the 10th floor and put some tower blocks outside. Then we move on to doing some lampshades. Putting a light into each one. Takes me a while fiddling with the light here because I don't notice that there's a face on the bottom of the lampshade but once I get round to deleting that things work much better and then we have the lights how we want them so next after that we look up our cubicle looks and then build something in roughly that shape nothing too complicated array it so that it repeats across the room Add some doors and a corridor outside so you can see through the doors without obviously seeing out into space. Now build a monitor for every desk and give that a screenshot so that there's something on the screen. Build a quick keyboard, just a block with a key texture on it. And then extrude a chair from a circle. Copy that to all the workstations. Adjust it to make it look a bit better. So I think that's the set more or less done. Um, it's going to need lots of characters though. I've got 15 seats there. Probably they're only going to be half filled, but that's still another six generic characters. And then on top of that, we've also got to build the uh, antagonist himself, the villain of the piece, Captain Korea. So I guess quite probably for the rest of the day, it's just going to be making characters, including spending a bit more time on, on Captain Korea than on the... Uh, more generic people I'm about to do. To build a generic character we load up an existing one and basically change its texture, change the colour of its skin, the colour of its clothes, the logo on it and then its haircut. In this case also change the depth of the t-shirt some. But then we start a second one. This is our fourth one altogether. Give him a little dinosaur t-shirt there for this girl. And then yet another character. This one can have a guitar on his front. Give him a different haircut. Okay, I think seven's enough. There's no need to go crazy. So I'll input all them into the scene. And then it's a question of making the, the, the bad guy. Which I may leave till the next time. We'll see. So we import those characters one at a time into the scene just by linking them. Adjust each of them as I import them so that they're differently proportioned. Do that just by scaling their bones. And then position the first one in the first station. And then I can copy his pose and paste them to all the others as I go making it much faster put, to put each of them into their own workstation and pretty soon the whole room's filled up now there's a strange shadow there so to figure out what that is it turns out to be the sun so we change the angle of the sun and we're done the very next thing is Captain Korea, the bad guy himself and I'm at the very least having lunch before that. So I think I'll call that the end of this session. 
we have built the cubicle farm and populated it with generic characters. Here's a quick walkthrough, I guess. Might as well animal. Nope, can't be bothered with that. Yeah, I'm just going to call it. See you next time. See you next time.